No, I was born and raised in Black Hills of South Dakota. Uh, my dad was a logger. He worked in the woods. When, uh, when I was about nine years old, he lost his sawing partner. And uh, so I used to go to work with my dad and I pulled one end of the saw because, you know, cross-cut saw is pretty hard to handle all by yourself. So that's the way I started out. I left uh, South Dakota and I come to this country basically to get in this big timber because I'd always heard about this big timber out here on the coast. In fact, I logged until the spotted owl started ruining everything, you know, and uh, they started making all these rules and regulations and it cut logging way down and the mills all started closing and everything so I could see the handwriting on the wall so I figured I'd better start doing something else. There was an old, old gunsmith in John Day, Oregon, and uh, name of Walt Bradley. And so I helped him out a little bit in my spare time because he was getting pretty blind and couldn't see too much. So he taught me a little bit about gunsmithing, and so I bought his shop out, and when I quit logging, I moved to Baker, Oregon because I wanted to get into an area that had more traffic. So I moved over there and I started up a outdoor supply store and I moved this gunsmithing shop and everything in there. And the building that I rented at one time was an old shoe repair shop. And so the people didn't know what to do with that equipment and stuff, so they just stuck it all in the back. One day a salesman come in and he said, there used to be a shoe shop here. I said, yeah, it's still back there. You want to buy it? And he happened to be from Oregon Leather. And he said, no, but he said, I know a guy that's looking for a job. He said, Del Brown Shoe Company up in Pendleton is going out of business and uh, head bootmakers looking for a job. So I called him up. He come down and looked it all over. and He said, yeah, I think I could do this. So I hired him and he come down and we set that machinery all up and everything and we started repairing shoes. And after about three months, he come in and he said, they're going to have a sheriff sale up there at Del Brown's in Pendleton. He said, you want to make some boots? And I said, I don't know. So we come up here and I bought a bunch of lasts and equipment and all kinds of stuff. And we moved it to Baker and I've been making boots ever since. That was in 1967. Oh, I've been looking for probably the last six, seven years. Oh. Mainly the work ethic is the big thing. It's hard to find anybody with work ethic anymore. It kind of leads me to a point where I really don't know what to do. I don't know how to attract somebody that would actually be interested in a really good occupation. You know, it's, it's just hard for me to believe because, you know, when I done this, I spent my own money, my own time, and everything to get this all put together and to learn everything I know. You know, I mean, uh, uh, nobody come to me out on the street and said, hey, come on in here, I'll teach you all this and everything. When I first went into boot business, I didn't even know how to spell boot. You know, I mean, it's just one of them things. And uh, it took me a long time and a lot of heartache, you know, to get where I'm at. And it would be really, really nice to pass that some of that on to somebody so they didn't have to go through all that. I'm figuring on making boots till I'm 80, and at that time, if I can go that long, at that time, if I haven't got anybody in, in a deal, why well, I'll have to shut it down because I won't be able to, you know, it'll be, it'll probably be physically impossible for me to continue, so I'll have to do something. If it actually comes to that, why there would be no qualms, I'd lock the door in a minute. I don't owe nobody anything, everything belongs to me, and uh, so it's, it would be a sad deal for this, all this information and everything to go by the wayside, but if that's the way that the old world got her figured, there ain't nothing I can do about it.
Oh, check out these buttons. Go to DIY to get the shoemaker skill. Okay, thanks, bye.